Bali is no longer a place you should travel to. All those beautiful scenes people keep posting are lies. They are fake. They tell you everything except what's reality. This needs to stop. And I'm going to show you exactly why and how this is happening. The destruction of Bali. I've been living in Bali from 2013 to 2016. I've been working there, I speak the language, I know every corner of the island. It's not very big. I know this video will trigger a lot of Bali fanatics, but it just has to be made. And I'm not making this because I hate Bali, it's quite the opposite. I moved there because I love being there. But it has become just so bad, the island is suffering extremely from over tourism. Sometimes friends of friends are writing me because they're going to Bali soon and they heard that I've been living there and they're asking me for insider tips and I'm just like, yeah, don't go there, go somewhere else. Why did people go to Bali in the first place? Because it's beautiful, because of its tranquility, because of the beaches and because it's cheap. Well, all those things are gone now. But most people who are booking their trip to go there for the first time don't know about this. They just go on Instagram and YouTube and they see all those beautiful pictures and videos. I mean, how can you not want to go there if you see something like this? And then they hear stories from other people who have been there and they say, yeah, it's beautiful there. You should absolutely go there. But those people, they have been there like 10 or 15 years ago. And today it looks completely different. Already in 2016 it was pretty bad. But I went again last year to visit my brother who still lives there. And it's just getting worse and worse. Let me paint you a picture of how it really is today. It's time to get to the details. First of all, the garbage. Bali has a massive garbage problem. They have no garbage processing system. Most of the garbage is just being thrown into the river. For real. They just take big chunks of garbage and throw it in the river. And it's going to stay in the river for most of the year. But when the rainy season comes, all the trash is being washed into the sea. And at some point it will show up on the beach again. This is an actual picture of a beach in Bali. How the beaches are looking today is horrendous. And if you want to go diving in Bali, you will see more garbage underwater than fish. That's a fact. Then second of all, we have the infrastructure. Bali has no public transport whatsoever. So you have to get a taxi or rent a motorbike or a car to get anywhere. But the streets are not made at all for this kind of traffic. Many streets have only one lane. Back in 2013 I used to live in Ubud. And if you wanted to go from Ubud to Seminyak it would take you about 30 minutes. If you want to do the same trip today it will take almost two hours. So when you're visiting Bali and you think, ah, oh, I can go easily around the island, you're going to spend a lot of time in traffic. And this situation is not going to be any better soon because the local government isn't doing anything. It will just get worse and worse because every year there's more tourists coming to the island. 2018, there were 16 million people visiting the island and the growth rate is currently at 10% a year. It's a tiny island. There's not enough space for that many people. Is this really how anyone wants to spend their holidays? Okay, these three things are passive developments. But there's also something actively destroying the very reason people were coming here in the first place. One of the most beloved things in Bali are the rice fields. These beautiful pictures of rice fields and the sun is going down and yeah, but those rice fields they are going away at a very fast pace because Balinese people think oh there's tourists coming I should build a house on my rice fields so they're building houses on their rice fields 
and also investors are coming and buying up big chunks of rice fields and they build hotels on it and whatever. The best example for this development is in Changu. Just five years ago, Changu was known as a place where there's beautiful rice fields just next to the beach and there were a few hotels. So everybody wanted to go there and the more people want to go, the more stuff they will build for these people. And if you go there today, you almost see no rice fields anymore. There's house next to house next to house. No more rice fields. Then this is just going to keep happening. Among those investors, there's no sense of preservation. And if you're going there, you're just feeding them. Yeah, okay, but it's, it's, it's still a cheap place, right? Well, no. When I was in Bali the first time, you could buy a proper dinner with a drink for one dollar. That was it, one dollar. Today they are charging you seven dollars for an avocado toast. And that's normal. That has become the norm. Okay, I'm out here. Seven dollars. The island has fallen victim to something that is called the Instagram effect. Those pictures of women in flowing dresses, leaving the only footprints in the sand, are beautiful, but they are not a reality. And as long as people keep posting their most beautiful travel pictures from the best angle possible, this will not change. Bali is just a small island in a massive country of Indonesia. Indonesia has 18,000 islands. Why does everyone keep going to Bali? because it's famous. But all the other islands around it, they just look the same. So now to you, about this trip that you're planning. Why not go to Borneo or Lombok or Flores? You'll have as much fun there. Peace out. Happy traveling. <laughs>